Mumtaz Begum Hussain, the writer. Hello. Hello there. I think it's all that glow from the sun. Uh, yeah, you're doing very, very well <laughs> on the sun. Good grief. Uh, you've got a busy weekend, I hear. What are you up to? Well, I'm heading off to the uh, Village Music Festival. It's a free music festival happening in London this weekend. It's taking part in Victoria Park. I'll be there boogieing down. And also, um, if you've got children and you want to come along and give them something to do, the Women's Library is hosting a uh, family fun day where I'm running all the arts and crafts workshops. So come along, join in at 11 to 3 tomorrow. Yeah. How are you, Mum Does? I'm so well. I'm in such a good mood because I watched such a fantastic film. Oh, don't give it all away yet. And we're joined by Eunice as well on the line. <laughs> Let's just say we're, think- we're both recovering because we were just saying we wouldn't call it a big release. No? Really? It wasn't the big release Ooh. of the week. It okay, was a kind well, of unwanted release of the week. Well, Mum Taz, um, uh, as you heard, uh, Raj and I didn't get a chance to see the film. Um, so um, we're going to rely on yourself and Amrita to kind of give us a bit of a sum up of the film and well, that's how are Ajay and Konkana does the chemistry work it's a strange combination it was more I was sitting there watching Konkana what are you doing to your career oh, why no. are you selling yourself being in this I can't really comment about the chemistry between them two but it really is more to do with like why are they doing this film really at what point I mean yes they want money but how desperate do you need to be I mean Konkana you can say is just one of the finest actresses you yep. know uh, luck by chance alone I think that just shows what an incredible woman she is and then she just gives up and does a role like this which wasn't doesn't test her ability um, it was a terrible role I have to say a terrible role for women as well uh, really the representation of women in this film was shocking and we said okay, do you agree well- um, I said, uh, yeah, I, th- I think I would agree because I'm a huge uh-huh. Gongana fan as well. So uh-huh. this was really disappointing. Now, well, and it's not just the parents' attitude. It's for us. It's for the younger generations. Whatever the family is saying, whether they support you or not, you're the ones that actually have to do the work to pass the exams. Now, my sister was the first person in the whole Bangladesh community um, to go to university. And it was literally because she worked. She just worked her guts out. You know, this, that was in... What, the 80s? The teachers weren't helping her. No. Um, my family weren't helping her. My mum couldn't read or write English.